In June of 1997, he boarded the USS Benfold. He was the new captain. Benfold was a guided missile destroyer staffed with 310 sailors. Although the Benfold was a technological wonder enough for its radar system, can track a bird-sized object from 50 miles away, but all its 310 sailors were deeply demoralized. They were so unhappy with their lives on board, they literally cheered when his predecessor left the ship for the last time. They were cheering, blatantly relieved to get rid of the captain. The attitude toward the ship's departing captain was symbolic of the old-fashioned command and control style. Watching that scene in shock, he vowed to treat every encounter with every person on the ship as the most important thing at that moment. One day, just a few weeks into his command, he asked a seaman what he would like to change on the Ben Fold. The point, the sailor explained, was that the Benfold's bolts and fittings were made of ferrous metals, which quickly oxidized and streaked the ship with rust stains that needed to be painted over every two months. Why didn't we invest in fittings made of non-ferrous metals? He implemented the idea immediately. Since then, the ship got painted once a year instead of every other month, now the entire navy uses them. And 12 months later the Benfold was ranked the top in performance, using the same crew. This story is about Micah Brashoff who was selected to be commander of USS Benfold at 36. Leaders should never forget that their most important task is not to give orders unilaterally to members, but to listen to them.